How's it going? I have this new Jumper 11.6 inch Windows 10 tablet. It's a two-in-one uh, tablet that also has a keyboard. And let me just go ahead, open it up, and get right into uh, what it's like. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's start with this box. So while I'm opening this, let me tell you that this has a quad-core processor uh, at 1.6 gigahertz, but can go up to 2 gigahertz. Um, it's got 6 gigs of memory, 64 gigs of solid-state uh, uh, hard drive space, uh, but you can expand, expand that with the micro SD card. It's got a multiple, uh, multiple ports as well, and we will go over that right now. Ah, there's a keyboard. Okay, let's see what we have to work with here. Um, this must be the power adapter. Indeed it is. So it's got a proprietary uh, power adapter and it's not like micro USB. All right, here's the tablet. Um, it's got the Windows logo on the front right here, as you can see. It has a two megapixel front facing camera if you want to do web conferencing. It says jumper on the back right here. Um, let's see. Here is the magnetic keyboard attachment port area. Over on this side, you see a dual purpose headphone and microphone jack. Um, here is a micro SD card slot. Some ventilation point. Point, ports. Here is um, a micro USB, a micro HDMI, a USB C, a regular USB 3.0, and power adapter. Um, here is what the keyboard looks like. Um, there is some travel. Sorry, let me shut off my phone. There is some travel on the keyboard, which is great. Um, I I love that about my old MacBook Pro and they switched to those new butterfly keyboards and I find those really hard to use. Here are the attachment points. So these two stems go right into the monitor here and these connections will make it work. Here's a small little mouse pad area. And on the bottom there's rubber feet to make sure this doesn't slide around and stays firmly planted on your desk. Nice silver metallic uh, finish. Um, matches the tablet uh, really nicely. So let's see, let me plug, let me connect these two, line it up like that, and I'm done. That's it. So now it went from tablet to laptop. Oh, look at that. I opened it up and it started right up, and it's it's booting up right now, so I'll just give it some time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose English. Hit yes. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So that's the Windows Assistant Cortana. It's sort of like Siri or Alexa for Amazon devices. Uh, yes. So you see how I made that input just by using my voice and telling Cortana that I wanted to continue? Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. All right, so now it's going to go through its initial setup. So this will take a while. I'll be back once this is up and running, and then we'll just go over... Uh, the tablet the computer Echo. all right so I've set up the computer I'm watching YouTube I'm watching my channel on YouTube on full screen you can see everything is very smooth the audio is in sync with the sound uh, there's no problems at all watching YouTube um, it works great um, and is very clear uh, due to the 1080 uh, display um, something at this price range sometimes you get a little bit less but I'm glad that there was at least a uh, full HD on this and the picture quality looks great um, and there's no problems with it at all 
So I hit escape and I, and I quickly just jumped right out of full screen mode. Um, now I'm on Amazon. You can see you can scroll and search. This is the exact product on Amazon, but you can see like scrolling is nice and smooth. There's no problems at all. Um, click through. See? Um, and it is a full-blown uh, Windows machine. You can click on the start menu. You're going to see all of these other options right here. Um, so, which is great. You can see there's no delays whatsoever. Everything just works. I can use my finger to to touch and control um, everything pretty much. Okay, so let me actually unplug this. Make sure you hit this button right here to release. Okay. All right, so now it's it's a tablet, uh, as you can see. You can swipe up and, all right, no, it's a tablet, so let me put in my pen actually. Okay, so now it's in tablet mode. Uh, I'm just holding it. Um, and it looks like a computer, really. So if I rotate it, you can see that all the icons rotate with it. If I rotate it again, you can see it pops back into the landscape mode. Then I can go into my Windows Explorer, continue where I left off. And the advantage of uh, getting a Windows PC like this uh, um, that has a dual purpose as a tablet is you can download and install anything that you can on a regular Windows machine versus other tablets. You can only download apps. So you can go to the Windows uh, App Store as well to download apps. Uh, as you can see, there are multiple apps here already. Um, but, this, you know, you can install software on this, expand the memory. You can print directly to your printer from this very easily. Um, unlike my Chromebook, like you have to go through hoops and hurdles to, to figure that out. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is it. Just wanted to show you this Windows 10 tablet from Jumper. Uh, the sound is really nice on this too, like this, this stereo sound on both sides. Very immersive sound, uh, directly from this. There's volume buttons right on it and a power button for quick access. On-screen displays are nice to let you know that button presses are registering. Um, yeah, overall this is really cool. Uh, I'm glad I picked this up. It goes for $249.99. I think it's a pretty good um, deal compared to some of the Chromebooks out there for around the same price. I think this gives you a little bit more flexibility to do what you want. Um, check this out on Amazon and I'll see you next time.